Hello, welcome. It has been a long while since I uploaded the last video, um, but yeah, I am back. Yay! Okay, so in this video, I will demo and show you um, a TNC music player that I've been working on for the last couple of days. Um, this is a sub part of a project that I'm using in my design team, UBC UAS. I will link the, 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 the website in description, but essentially we are making an air taxi and this is supposed to be the in-flight entertainment or the music system. So, um, yeah, so I've been trying to get music being played from the TNC while being able to control different peripherals like servo motors, um, actuators, and so, um, this works and I'm just gonna demo this and you can even use this as a standalone music player you just have to add an LCD display um, right now it outputs everything to a serial monitor um, but yeah um, if you can get a st the display working you can have a portable music player that plays .vav file from an SD card so without a further ado let's just jump right into the setup so we have um, four main components for the music player we'll just um, read aside the servo so yeah, just forget about this wire for a second. So we have a speaker, um, a speaker amplifier, an SD card, read board or breakout board, and then the main brain, the TNC 4.0. Um, I could have gotten TNC 4.1, but they're, those are expensive, and these, this is what we were uh, we decided to use. So TNC 4.0, but you can um, play around with the code, and then you can probably work make it work on a three version or a. 4.1 as well so yeah you, if you know what you do then you can basically um, just change the board that's super simple okay <clears throat> um so sd card works on spi these four um green white purple and blue are spi connection pins and then the black one is is the ground and the brown is the vcc i know weird um connection color choices but those were the only cables that i had so um yeah moving on so um the connection are pretty standard um chip select is green um master out or data in is white um mossy or um, yeah mossy is white and then miso master in slave out is purple and then slave select oh sorry it's not slave select. the clock is the blue one and they go to the standard TNC connections. Um, yeah, so green or well, chip select goes to pin number 10. Um, MISO goes to pin number 11. MOSI, MOSI master, uh, oops, sorry. MOSI goes to pin number 11. The white one is MOSI. I get confused every time. And MISO, the purple one, goes to pin number 12. And then the clock, the blue cable. The blue is pin number 13. So you'd have chip select, MOSI, MISO, and then um, the clock. Those were the SPI connections. And then for the, the amplifier, I'm using a MAX. I forget the name every time. It's a MAX 98357A. <laughs> Sorry for it being 180 degrees rotated. But um, so the, the thing with this is... um. I need to use a servo, so we cannot just use the PWM or MQS output on the TNC. We cannot use the MQS because MQS uses the same pin as these three, so we cannot use MQS. And PWM basically messes up with these guys, so we cannot have music being played and this together. So I have to resort to I2S. So essentially, I'm using um, the simple I2S. Um, so we have three connections. Um, one, two, and then the third is the orange one. So the I2S pin number 21 is the B clock that goes to the the B clock pin in the, the amplifier. Then the LRCLK, uh, the left right clock is the white wire, which is on the leftmost side. Um, that white wire is the ground and the red wire is the VCC. Sorry again for the wire connections, <laughs> color, 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 wire colors. Uh, moving on, okay. So yeah, the white wire is pin number 20, that's left right clock, and then the orange is all the way up here to pin number 7, that's the TX or the data in on this guy. So data in, orange, B clock is yellow, and um, left right clock is white, and then the blue wire that's going is controls the gain. So you can have a look online how this thing is working, and you can see that if you ground this wire to gain, just ground this wire, you get a gain, you increase the gain and then if you leave it unconnected then that's the default gain um 
yeah so you can have different configurations for the for the blue connections blue wire you can ground it or put it to vcc and that will change the gain um the one that i have is is slightly more than the default gain but not the max i can make it more but that's just what i want right now okay and the board outputs to the speaker super simple connections okay and if you're interested this motor is being connected uh, the servo motor is connected to pin number five also um this is just a test um that's why the servo is being powered by the onboard 5 volt supply but in real situation like our team we will be using lipo so um yeah but this is just to test so i know this is not a good idea to just like connect the supply from here not a good idea never use supply never supply the servo from microcontroller with a separate power supply to save your controller <clears throat> okay enough talk let's talk <clears throat> enough talk okay enough talk and now let's have a listen to the thing so basically you just remove it you connect it to your computer um open the serial monitor um okay so serial monitor opens up and you see nothing okay if you see nothing just remove it and connect it again we might have missed the data okay so uh okay so there so right now my sd card i have loaded about 23 different files um, all have to be web files and they have to be in the root directory in order for the code to read them and the only thing that I would recommend before putting the web files on is make sure you sample them at 16 bit PCM and also change the sampling oh, sorry the bit rate no sorry the the resolution 16 bit uh, maybe that's not correct but use 16 bit PCM and also um, make sure it's sampled at 44.1 kilohertz that is the major thing that you have to make sure um, i tried 40 48 kilohertz web they don't work so i think it's because of the tnc audio library that only works that only has the support for about 44.1 kilohertz so <clears throat> so you connect it up um it basically does initial test and then scans the c card for all the wave files that you have on the root folder and then list them up now the con uh, the control is super simple you just press l to display it you can select 10 um musics 10 10 different songs or music items at a time and even though this list is 23 but you can only select 12, 10 this thing only takes in um one character input so i decided to input this list if you want to select a song you just enter the number corresponding to what you see so for example if i want to play um mario underworld um i'm probably gonna get copyright but it's fine <sighs> You press 8 and then this starts playing. Um, here it displays that the song 8 is selected and is playing fine. There. So, yeah. Now, let's say that I want to stop it. So I just press S. Uh, I press S on the console and then press enter. It stops. And so. You see that we have so many different sounds. If you want to go to the next 10, you press F and enter. It advances the lists by 10. So now if you look at here, instead of 0 being SD test 1, now it's about the Mario Underwater theme. Let's have a listen to that one. there uh just figuring around um with the connections but yeah that's the mario underwater theme and um yeah you can play this one as well and to stop the sound press stop or s um yeah so if you want to go back to the previous list you just press b and enter and then it will take you back to the original or you can just press forward Press forward again, and then it takes you to to it takes you there, and then it takes you there, and then the thing is, um, it just cycles through the list. So after you press F again, it's gonna take you back to the original. So it's like a cycle. So you can go back or front, and if you go beyond, it just goes you to the first page. Um, if that's how you want to visualize it. Um, yeah. So right now, if you listen closely, there was some distortion in the sound. I'm still figuring out why that's happening because like about 12 minutes before I tried to play something. 
and it was not at all noisy. But look, you can see the noise. Um, this is the Aladdin Prince Ali um, song from the Sega game. I used to play it when I was like a child, six years old. Um, yeah, brings brings back memories. Um, I'll just listen to it, and if you wanna listen along, feel free to keep watching the video. But if you wanna, if you got what you needed, and um, yeah, I wish you bye bye. If you're not interested in this music, but all right. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I hope you um, like it and learn something new. If you see something super stupid in my design, oh, I forgot to mention. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is non-blocking. Um, that means that the servo can move. If I press extend, the servo is moving, so I can control the servo. That's what we want in our design team because we want to open and close the the passenger seat belts and the doors. So we need to make sure that the sound can also be played. And also, this is major, so we want to make sure that this can also work. That's why we wanted to check that. And yeah, so if you use I2S with TNC, it works perfectly fine. Okay, yeah. Um, fortunately, you haven't left till now and you watched that part, but yeah. Um, thank you for watching again and let's just listen to this beautiful music. Bye-bye.